Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, as we're playing as the Lunar Empire. But victory in the southeast. An amazing news today from the southeast of Equestria. The upstart Marshal Stars Rolls report that the region once again under lunar control, and their military forces will be moving north to assist the Central High Command. His request to maintain autonomous at least until conflict ends in order to keep the staff organization that has served her so far. This we shall and must really must oblige, as the force will most likely be indispensable in restoring order over the rest of Equus. Alright, of course has been doubled, but the treacherous southeast. An unexpected setback occurred in southeastern Equestria. Although the forces marshaled by Starl's rule have been successful in pacifying the region and beating other insurrectionists, the native jungle Thestrals have turned on us and forced the removal of all lunar forces in the area. Greatly outnumbered and surrounded, they had no choice but to leave. The Empress is most displeased with this outcome and swears to bring the renegade back when he's to order. Their time of reckoning will come soon enough after we deal with more pressing matters. Festivals are meant to stand to all stand together. Now turn on each other. Have the past thousand years of discrimination taught them nothing? Traitors everywhere. And how dare they? 3% is not bad. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, military theorists. Well, we're actually pretty... Well, I guess technically we do have more after this. I guess I should have waited and maybe... Grab this person, but you know, air doctrine, land doctrine, uh, or we could just grab more XP for now. More attack would be nice. I do like a lot of attack. Um, these are the division template. I'll be honest, it's been like a day or two since the last update, or not last update, last video. So, not bad division. You guys are okay as well. Um, what are our divisions? Stalingrad, autonomous or autonomy. So yeah, they backed out of the war eventually, but whatever. Traders everywhere. A bunch of traders. The Lunar Logistics Department, though. Um, where are we at with that? Ah. The vastness of Equus, or Equestria, presents a difficult challenge for quartermasters and log logisticians. Although supply routes to major cities are relatively functional, anything that requires us to travel through the de deserts, jungles, or even mountains will present an insurmountable obstacle. Some modernization in our transport vehicles is required. Absolutely. Only three research slots, which kind of sucks, I'll be honest. But, so we got to work on getting more research slots and whatnot. So, you know what? We're still going to go with this one. Screw it. Why not? Um, so, I was contacted by one of the devs, one of the lead devs for Equestria War, and he said that we have a bug here, so we want to do the Empire Trump and use Consul Commands for this one. Well, the Celestial Resistance in Shambles, and the banishment of our most hated foes. The night sky can truly shine wide across Equestria. There's no time to rest, however, as our victory is in set in stone. Points all across Equestria must be brought back to heed the words of the Empress. To establish a night that never ends, of course. Prisoners of War, the Tale of Two Sisters, Social Engineering. Ooh, establish an Imperial Reconstruction service. Um, I do want another research slot, though. I think that'd be very good to get as fast as possible. So we might also expand the shipyards, too. After the Civil War began, only a portion of all the ships of the Equestrian Navy became part of the Lunar Navy. Our fleets are not worthy of the Empress and need to be expanded, but that'll be a slow effort if we do not first invest in our dry docks. Only then can we create the grandest armada of the world. An economic powerhouse. With the Empress's most wise investments, our economy is not only recovering from the turmoil of war, it is beginning to boom. All loyal servants of the Empire shall enjoy the fruits of their labor, as a new golden age of prosperity begins for our nation. And then an economic powers, but the Imperial Research Center. The Lunar Empire has many educational institutions within its borders, but not enough facilities that are solely focused on technological research instead of teaching the youth. The IRC, IRC will be answered to the problem, having some of the most brilliant minds of the Empire cooperating to push the boundaries of science for the glory of the Empress, of course. Like more planes. And the Supermarine Spitfire, but we've got some comments to go through as we get 1.2 political power every single day. Armor would be nice. I really actually would like some armor as well. Um, for now, I'm, uh, defense, I want a defense guy. Uh, speed's okay. Splotch. Yeah, we'll got some pretty thick divisions eventually. Just go get some army XP, why not? But some comments include, You could have used game rules to guarantee that Stalingrad wouldn't have gone to Darkwing Route and become a Questry's puppet. That way you wouldn't have to cheat. That's very fair, that's absolutely true, yeah. You're not wrong about that. I, I'll be honest, I don't play Equestria War enough for me to really... I didn't really know that, so, my bad, but success of the defense. Ah, if you remember this, please go ahead. They keep trying, and you know, you can admire them for trying, but my god, I'm going to kill them all off eventually. All, everyone, everyone here in the bottom. Cancel war plan? Um, cancel the measures, put in war plan to let our systems rest. Slowly return the daily life to normal. Actually, you know what? This might be costing us the bug, so, actually, what's all this stuff? Expand the daily mines. You know what? Let's try it. I don't want to do it like that, but, no. Is it a bug? It still might be a bug, so... Eh, oh well, it is what it is. We're still building ourselves up, so... That's what I care about the most. Um, what else? Expand the mines, of course. Regional integration, close out of that one, that one. Hearts and minds. Our rebellion is one of righteous liberty against anti-thestral tyranny and racism? 
The message should be broadcast across the land by our public relations team, and so all the ponies of Equus shall know our names are utterly pure, uh, even if they must be learned by force. The last salivary aspects of our intentions will be vehemently denied. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, uh, we'll do this eventually to military training. That's not bad. So, acquire blueprints like we talked about yesterday. Um, I don't want to spend political power on that just yet. I kind of want to spend more political power on stuff like this, or maybe even start working on some of this as well. Um, 0 0.12, 0 0.09, 0 0.12. 30%! 30% is, usually, is better than what we normally get. So, I might go with this one, but that's why it's 200 instead of anything else. The March of the Falcons, okay. Lessons from the War. The Luna Nova Imperial Academy. In a vain attempt to make amends with their sister, Princess Celestia founded the town of Luna Nova and allowed her empress to establish an academy there. Now Celestia's gone and her loyalists have been driven out of the town, which has proven to be nothing more than a nest of traitors. Now that the town will be rebelled and its academy once more returned to its founder, it shall become more glorious than effort. Uh, let's see. Now the kind was, a few time uh, I got New Maryland to join me, I tried to use the shadow, tried to use the shadow boat. Boat? Bolt. They are better than the other two by far leap. Um, if you worry about the changing being the polar bears, please go ahead. Just my protest. Just say neutral. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, the okay. Thestralia. Oh yeah, looks like we got another war in our hands. They don't have a lot of manpower, pony power, really. They're in search part apartment too. Holy crap. So if we, ha uh, oh, I guess we have a couple. Of, oh, no wonder you guys are doing all this stuff. Mm. Ooh, I'm just thinking. Oh, that's gonna have to get another carrier done. What do we send you over there too? I doubt. I doubt this would be enough to hold the line. But you never know. So we make more planes too. Um, uh, Pegasus divisions. They are 18 combo with currently, which are okay. I like engineers too. Um, special Forces, Pegasi, I'm gonna make them nice and thick, well if we can, but we can't right now. But the count was, the NLR, so the Lunar Empire, was it worked on Halloween in 2020 someone says, so it's so, so, somewhat new, maybe it's somewhat new. Uh, changing a question, oh, oh god, oh, they're killing each other now, hold on, okay. All right. Okay. Why not? Why not? Another comment was, Long live the Lunar Empire. Someone else says, Finally more Equestrian War. Someone says, Oh, snap, I was thinking about a Let's Play this last, one, last night. Someone says, In TNO, plays Wales as Emery Thomas. Uh, we'll do this one, too. And after that one, we will go with... Yes. So says, So how do you actually get the Lunar Empire? And someone else replied to him, Either set it to spawn in in-game rules, or... There's an event chain for it to spawn at some point early on, which is very true. Changing lands is just fine, I guess it's God. But also, okay. So, yeah. And, uh, about Thestral Rites, or early events about Thestral Rites and whatnot. This is not going to be easy, is it? No, it's not. Oh, good God. I hope we're ready for this. Um, and have the option to have Lunar alone handle the campaign to get this uh, nation. Pick that option from that point on, it's fairly easy to get, so. Someone says, the problem with the focus for the victory is the war plan, you should cancel it, which you try, but didn't ha anything happen. Someone says, this mod needs a rail update and focus rework badly. I would say at least at least a rail update. I mean, I'd like to see railroads and stuff like here, so. Because I'm don't, i not, I'm not used to this anymore, the infrastructure stuff. Well, actually, no, this is a rail update, what am I talking about? No, it has rails, yeah. What do you mean? It's got rails. I mean, I mean, like, through the mountains, I mean, through the mountains sucks, but that makes sense, so. Um, let's see, someone says, yes. So this is both Los Pegasus and the Confederation of the South are fun nations to play. Los Pegasus can have Mr. House from the fall of New Vegas to take over, and the Confederation of the South, while very old, is an interesting nation since they literally have Confederate characters like Robert E. Lee. <sighs> a southern gentleman, but Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Huh. Um, cool. And someone says, Pony Power. And someone else, and another person says, Holy crap, you actually didn't. Do you know how long I was waiting for this? Next up, we should draw the Solar Empire. All right, everyone. So we've gone ahead and finished established Imperial Reconstruction Service. Ponies are thought to be a docile and pacifist species, yet the recent struggle has shown to be the complete opposite case. Hundreds and thousands of homes, bridges, workplaces, and more lay in ruins. The damage cannot be accurately measured beyond too many bits. To restore the rightful order and rule of law, the onus is on the new government to commence a period of rebuilding and healing. And then we're doing, of course, rebuild highways. The question is vast and difficult to transverse. It used to be said that one could spend years without seeing every town there is before the invention of railways and personal automobiles, that is, but much infrastructure lays devastated and inoperable. Partly because of our operations, it needs to be repaired through a series of massive public works programs. 
because I wanted to get to academic restoration, but we're going to get some factories first. Establish imperial corporations. The formerly liberal equestrian economy needs to be reorganized and something more controllable. An imperial corporation shall be established for each sector of the economy, and all of them will be directly subordinate to the empress. Any economic activity outside these strictly regulated, regulated corporations must be quenched entirely. This will guarantee the harmonious functioning of the national economy and rebuilding the empire. <coughs> After the first fight across the lunar empire, rebuilding was what destroyed uh, uh, will be of the most importance. Her Majesty, well aware of this, has called for her staff to pull together a plan for the oncoming reconstruction. On this, Corona Australis has taken the lead. To every point of surprise, she has presented two possible plans for Her Majesty to choose between. The first prioritizes the rebuilding of the Empire's industrial might. There's no reason to presume that the future will be peaceful and the Empress wishes for the nation to be strengthened. This primarily focuses on the civilian sector, reasoning that if said sector is strengthened, it will allow for the military to be more rapidly strengthened as well. The other plan, while meanwhile, is a surprising one. It calls for reconstruction to not focus on factories, but rebuilding the civilian infrastructure and destroyed residential areas. The payoff in this plan will be much more long term, as we part stand as a show of Her Majesty's generosity towards her people, and also show that the workers who are going to build said factories do not have to worry about their families living in the ruins of their homes. A sheltered, well fed, and grateful population will make for a stronger nation in the long run. Even the short term benefits will be upset. Prioritize rebuilding the industrial centers versus focus on rebuilding homes and civilian infrastructure. Get building slot more pony power, we get more non aligned. Nightmare Moon becomes more merciful, which we got to talk about here, too, because we have options here. We can eventually be seen as more merciful, or, I guess, via media, and then we're going to be more vengeful. Um, I guess with... You get more non-aligned if you go more... Ven uh, merciful, not vengeful. Merciful, so... Um, which tells me i got to play this campaign at least twice. So I'm thinking for now, I'm going to disappoint people no matter what. Uh, cause that's what I do sometimes. No, not really. I usually try to get everything done and accomplished, but I want to do this twice because it seems interesting to do. So I think for now, I want to go merciful. We'll see what happens. We'll go merciful for this campaign, and the next time we do the Lunar Empire, we'll be very vengeful, very, 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 very vengeful. As uh, we're waiting for changelings to attack us, I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think anybody's ready for this, cause right now we're locking a crap ton of guns. Oh crap. We're, we're out of a ton of guns. So, um... South States. Oh, wait. The Equestrian Federal Republic. Wait, what? Oh, Las Vegas has been called into. Um, so... The Confederation of the South States is in the faction... Is Las Vegas is. Crystal Empire. Oh, God, no. Lunar Empire and Thestralia. So, they're not attacking us necessarily yet. Oh, that's going to be a big opening right there, too, which is not good. Um, do we try and attack? What do we do? Eh, we're doing somewhat okay. I mean, how big are they? Yeah, Crystal Empire is fine. For now, they have quite a few divisions. We have quite a few divisions. Our divisions aren't necessarily super, 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 super great. So, for now, yeah. Oh, we need more stuff there, too. Um, um you guys hold. Don't worry about attacking for now. Everyone, for now, hold. Hold. Because, good God, they're going to be attacking like crazies. Oh, they got a lot of divisions. Oh, man, we are not ready for this. How are we supposed to be prepared for this, man? To be honest with you, I have no idea. I don't want to use consequence for this. Because we, we we don't have enough of anything. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous for us to go to war so soon. With so many enemy divisions. That's fine for now, too. I mean, I'll be honest, like, I already used Consequence once. If I had used Consequence again, so be it. It doesn't matter to me at this point. So, um... Yeah, get that, too. Focus on attack. Make sure we got more defense. Oh, well. But, yeah. We'll see. We can go in. Because the, the line's only going to be widening up here. Which is gonna suck. And down here too. So. Push back over the river. We'll see. You know, you never know. Might go really well for us. Probably not. We got spy base? No, it did not. Do we have an infantry specialist already? Yeah, we do, darn it. Um, over here, bullets, elastic defense. You know, you can go be elastic defense, why not? These subs, armor doesn't really help us. Industrial stability. Stability would be very nice. War bonds, though. Changelings, 1%, 1%, 1%. Let's go for the cheaper one. War bonds. We need to build more. Way more. 
Um, build some civvies so we can trade that stuff as way, away as well. We need only one rubber, but still. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, you guys can do this. Yeah, you can. Just hold for now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get it back. I did throw a tank on these guys too, so... We lost 69. How did we lose that many guys so far? What the heck? Yeah, like I said, we might use Consequence for this campaign. We'll see. I mean, more, more, more Consequence, console Command, so. Uh, yeah, good research slots. Or, yeah, more research speed, I guess you should say. Yeah, I don't understand how they can, we can't pierce someone. I guess we don't have enough to tank, do we? Yeah, there's no way that we can economically or industrially fight these guys. Hearing extra planes? Yeah, I got a couple extra fighters, but still. No, I said just you. And no. Ambush are still good to have. Go with uh, less defense too. So I wanted the corporations for more factories. Uh, as much as I want that one, Tattoo Sister, Social Engineering. Uh, really not much else for us. Mobilization, 45 days. Um, maximum command power, line out attack, max planning. Legacy of the Shadow Bolts. Industrial mobilization, I guess. Continuing demand for more and more materials showing our existing production capabilities to be reaching the practical limits. To ease the pressure from an already beleaguered workforce, simply have to invest in opening new industrial complexes to serve our increased demands. We're going back to war plans. Probably promoted because we just don't have enough of anything here. Mm, sure. Oh god, we lost the supply base. Are you kidding? Oh no, it's not just connected. It's just not connected at all. Is there any point in even trying to connect it? Let's go to last defense for everybody because I mean, ah, oh, that's annoying. How much manpower do they really have? Not much left, and they're on limited conscription though, which is not good either. Yeah, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Back off, back off, back off. Stop it, stop attacking. How are they just so strong? Man, come on. Yeah, we'll have to use consequences for this, because there's nothing we can do. I mean, we, we, there's no way we can recover fast enough. And do everything here, so unfortunately, we're definitely gonna have to use comms commands for this stuff because we can't hold. There's nothing you can do about this. We don't. We never have enough guns. Um, recon. Put some recon on here too. But yeah, we don't have enough here. Artillery's okay. We can beat these guys up a little bit more if we really wanted to. We'd still be out though. I have anti-air as well, so and that helps with piercing. These guys didn't rebel. They'd be in a better position, but still. Better call their support too. Um, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Um, I'll put. Maybe. That's good. Type of box. Quarter pounder. Um, to withstand ever increasing amounts of firepower, armor vehicles need to adapt by increasing the thickness of their armor plating while maintaining a respectable firepower and mobility. The Xander, a proponent for mobile warfare and mechanization, uh, Tem Tempest Wind has submitted several new designs that are waiting for approval. How? How can we not pierce them? I guess we just don't have enough here, do we? Yeah, that's... Our nation just does not have the industrial output that it really should. Why do we still have the War of Two Sisters? What? Oh, come on. I don't know how to get rid of that. This is still bugged. That's definitely still bugged. Um. Yeah. That's not good. Imperial War Plan, which is what we selected initially. Oh. 
Maybe it's not bugged? I don't know. Do you have 17 pounder? No loan or push for mechanization for other nations and rivals to have begun to utilize the strength of tanks. It'd be best to divert some resources in developing a specialized version of artillery focused exclusively on removing these new threats. Thus, we face issues in the future when it will take considerably longer to overcome them. Crystal Knight Alliance. King Sombra of the Crystal Empire sent an official communique to Empress Nightmare Moon and the Lunar Imperial General Staff, inviting the Lunar Empire into this great pact alliance. The statement not only includes the promise of military aid in fighting the, uh, quote, meddling forces of the light, unquote, but also promises for further expansion later on should the relationship prove profitable. While some voice displeasure at the possibility of aligning yourself with such an upstart, there are all others who see problems in the repeated the resurrected monarch. Regardless of what they think, though, they all will tell the line where the Empress indicates which side of the debate she's on. Join the Great Pact? I suppose the so called King in Duke's time? We'll join for now. There's no way we can just take these guys on by. There's no way. Absolutely no way. That Equestria is supposed to have a massive uh, industrial base. We never really inherited it, though. Uh, do it down here. Do it down here, too. So. Mm. Just need more millies, though. My god, do we need more millies. I don't seem to have stopped for now. Never mind. Take this box. Quarter pounder. Don't let them take the radar. Please don't let them take the radar. How can we not pierce them? That is such crap. Go down there. Quality over quantity. Endless wave of steel. That sounds like fun. Um, but quality over quantity. I do prefer this one. Well, we'll do this twice. So maybe better. Maybe go for this one. Every point's expectations have been met by the continued development of trials and tanks. There's an issue of reliability that would be far too expensive to rectify on a wide scale. Delicate machinery is prone to breaking in strenuous conditions, and our response is problem satisfying the minimum in material and maximum in amount of reserves. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Yeah, this is dumb. This is so stupid. We're not. No. No. You have got to get that back. You have got to get that radar station. We, we literally built that up back. We're able to hold them for the most part right now. They raise their conscription level. Yep. That's insane. We're going to fight all this with nothing. Man. Coordination doesn't help that much. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Well, that's looking a lot better for guns at least. Artillery's not looking great, but we did... You know, buffer guys a little bit more, so that's okay. Of course, I did put defensive uh, doctrine here too. So, mm, two traits. Uh, is Acerbus anywhere near terrain traits? Not quite. Reinforced rate and whatnot. God, supply so bad down here. Keep working on military factories. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Quarter pound of the fall of Griffstone. Can we actually pierce them? No, we still can't pierce them. By cleansing knight. Oh, with a gear. Get some more entrenchment, too. That was 10 12, huh? Here, Hatch Lang, Marriage of King Summer, Nightmare Moon. Oh, who should become a spouse of Nightmare Moon of Equestria? Legends go that before King Summer was banished into the abyss, who supposedly had a romance with Queen Princess Luna. Disappearance of them both roughly dates back to the beginning of the current era, a thousand years ago. Some poems assume that the two were not allowed to be together by Luna's older sister Celestia, and after they rebelled, she banished them both. These are, of course, only legends, but these two ponies are the ones who know the events best. We are here, Nightmare Moon's reply. I didn't know we were going to get married. Oh, that's not good. You son of a rock sucker. Oh, we get proposed to. 
As her headquarters today arrived, a letter addressed the Queen of the Night herself from the King Sombra to the Crystal Empire. It was a love letter and her proposal. Sombra laid out his feelings for all to see and spoke very highly of Nightmare Moon and her nation. It seemed that he wants to marry her and doing so creating an alliance to shake the world. However, some aid reminded her majesty of the rumors that Sombra once courted Celestia. And they asked if she really wants to end up risking with her sister's leftovers. Like a fine husband? He doesn't have that many divisions, so no. You know what? I, this sounds like it's going to be a bad idea, but we'll try it anyways. Sure, guys. Yeah, we'll take everything you got. You got plenty of empty air. How's, uh, factories? Not bad. It's coming along. Son, stop attacking here. We lost a lot of guys, but we've mobilized quite a bit, so... Just married. Today, the streets of Manhattan and Crystal City Center were filled with confetti and cheer. As the wedding between King Somber and Nightmare Moon was celebrated in Crystal City Center and by all the subjects around the two countries. The marriage was made official yesterday and all major heads of state of the world were invited. The lack of Princess Celestia at the wedding remembered all the world of the recent civil war that ravaged Equestria, in which Celestia fell to her sister. The events gathered thousands of people in the capital of King, King Sombra's empire, in which crystal ponies and night ponies were seen parting together. The marriage has raised concerns with observers seeing as really dangerous this union, which surely has made stronger both monarchs. Now, further expansion of the two powers on the continent out of the world seems inevitable, but it's not clear if it will be through diplomacy or war. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. At least we can mostly hold him off here. That's good, at least. I don't want these consequences, but I'm not afraid to. How we can do it? How, how many divisions does Crystal Empire actually have? They're holding out too, which is a little surprising, at least to me. Are they running out of equipment, maybe? They're out of guns. Good. And this way of steel. Night Guard expertise. The words of the night have truly proven themselves to be worthy of the Lunar Banner, carrying out numerous unconventional operations during and after the Civil War, pushing the limits ever so further. While many points would say they simply did what was necessary for their Empress, we are more interested in distributing these skills to the next generation of soldiers. Alright, so we do this next one. Improve infantry equipment 3. Full spectrum. Leg operations. Motorized warfare. We'll probably keep it on the left side for now. Entrenchment speed plus 50%. Max planning. More max entrenchment. I mean, that'd be great to do right now, but still. Future defense. It's not bad. More defense, better supply consumption. But more breakthroughs. A defensive professional army. But wait. That doesn't make any sense. Defensive professional army. We get more breakthrough. Huh. I don't think I really understand, but you know what? Maybe I'm not meant to understand. Maybe that's it. Oh, wait, what? Australia. Oh. I guess we are technically down here, too. So. I kept them down here just in case. Do you want us to join the war? Just to hold? That's what I put him there for. for. Oh. You better not lose. Well, radar's not bad. A little ahead of time, of course. More artillery, yes. And then more infantry equipment as well. But since we're here, we did grab the train treater theater traits. Um, political power. It's okay. Proper heritage. Not terrible. Get more attack. 5% for special forces at least. Quick improvisation. This would be kind of worthless for us right now. Engineering. Bombardment. XP gain. Daily command power is not an issue. Um, don't really need more political power either. On core territory, because that is core. Well, well, actually, we're looking okay down there too now. Adoption cost, transmission speed. I kind of want to go with this one. See what it's like. Like uh, quick improvisation is not bad. Twenty percent more transmission speeds too is good. Engineering, I and mean, it's not really worth it. Ten percent special forces attack. 
quick improvisation. You know what? That's something I would never choose, so just go focus. What do we have here? Recon, loss of defense. I know that one, why not? Let's just go focus. This is pretty good. Aggressive recon. Actually, our divisions. We even have recon on our divisions. No, we don't. That might help. Can we actually put recon on there? No, we don't have the stuff for it yet. Fuel, maybe? Fuel could always be good to use. Recon intelligence gained from combat. Elastic defense. We do go with elastic defense. We're very entrenchment focused right now, too. Um, we'll plan attacked. You know what? I chose this one. I almost never choose it. I'm digging even harder. So how much entrenchment can we actually get? 69%. We're very defensive focused for this campaign. What if we wanted to move into here, though? Not bad. Do we have enough guns? We got a little stockpile of 4,000 plus. Not bad. Pretty good overall. We need more anti tank and more artillery. Maybe I won't have to use consequence after this because, my god, that was terrible earlier. Do that. And more radar. Yes. And more of this. And I definitely don't want to lose any divisions over here, so keep holding for now. I got expertise. Academic restoration. Regards to sits on the throne of Quest, your educating capable ponies must be one of the priorities for the Empress to resume in the earnest. There will be some necessary changes to the curriculum regarding the rightful place of the Thestrals, but the business of university should continue unabated. As long as they do not so descend among young, impressionable minds, of course. Lunarist capitalism. Centralized economic development. Huh. Rebuild the Admiralty. Legacy of the Shadow Bolts. During the failed uprising against the Ron Tyranny of the Sun over a thousand years ago, the Shadow Bolts were an elite group of finest Peggy Sai and Thestros as a grace and night sky. They inflicted many casualties on the loyalists, and they struck fear into the hearts of our foes. Their tradition will be maintained in our new Imperial Lunar Air Force. Have they really stopped attacking us? What's wrong with them? Supplies gotten a lot better for them, too, which is not good. Oh, we have no supply right there. Well, we should have supply up there. That's an issue. And we're going to fix that issue with more supply. From our side. I really doubt we could do a general attack. We got plenty of manpower, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I see exactly why I don't want to do a general attack. They still want to attack us a little bit, but that is actually probably the best time to attack them and do. See what you can do. Not bad so far. We need every single gun that we've got so far. We're doing well on artillery as well. How are we doing over here? I haven't lost any divisions yet. And you are already level 5. Jesus, that's really good. Over here, we might want to stop attacking as much. So go and hold, real quick. You know what? I'll let you guys decide. Should we do Lunarist Capitalism? Or should we do a Centralized Economic Development? I'll let you guys decide. Both, I think, are pretty darn good. They're very comparable to each other. So let me know which one we should do in the comments below. Look, you see the Shadow Bolts. The five research slots, not enough. Never enough. Never, ever, ever, ever. Enough. Build upon the Gladiator. Over the course of the war, Civil War, we captured many fires and several production factors from the hated Celestial Loyalists. While we've adapted to seize assets for our own use, they cannot be relied upon forever, and our pride will be solely by continuing to use the enemy's designs. Simply must create our own superior machine. And now they're attacking us once again. New howitzer is good. More anti air, though. If you want to help me out, I mean, I'm okay with that too. Almost 900,000 losses. Oh, good God, this is not good over here. Um, how are we doing on this side? Well, we're doing. I'll tell you that much for sure. Over here, we definitely need more divisions. We just don't have enough. Yeah, I think we'll need to attack again because Lost Pegasus is, just can't do it. They just can't. As much as I don't want to keep pushing in right now, we got to go in. Yeah, they, they cannot withstand anything. And that's actually okay with us, because we'll need another army here anyways to do this. Just to, just to focus on this group down here. The expert? Uh, go, go attacker. Go in as well if you can. 
push and kill them all off here. That's probably the most important thing to do right now. Earth Bunny Sapper's nice. Uh, oh, that'd be good too. How are we doing over here? Talk to me. How are we doing? Not bad. They're encircled. It's good, good, good. Keep going for now. Nice. Okay, this is being dumb. Cancel warp plan. <laughs> I don't think so. Political actions, good working conditions. I'd like to do that, but that's fine for now. Whatever. Just wrap up these guys as much as you can right now. And then, uh, yeah. Looking not too bad. You all get down here too. Or, let me get over here and do that. I want you guys all to hold. Because you gotta reform your front line, because this is a gigantic mess. Jesus Christ. Capital ship. Uh, what are we using? We're using carriers, aren't we? Yeah, we got like a couple carriers already, so I'm gonna make. You know what? If that's that strong for naval aviation, naval attack, targeting agility, sure, we'll go with that one. Nice job, y'all. And just to make sure, because I don't trust the AI. You should never trust the Hoi 4 AI. It is sometimes ungodly unreliable. More fuel? Yeah. There you go. Now you can come over here and join the line. There you go. Make it easy for us. Five booster slots is very strong. Bad with the penalty. What's this one up here? Oh, that's way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Logistics. I love logistics wizards. They're just going to war there, everybody, aren't they? They can't hold in the south. God, no. God, it's not good without going to join them in the war, too. Up in the north supply is really bad, but what else is new? That's enough radar still for now, but we control ourselves putting some over there as well. Uh, put another mill here, maybe getting some refinery, maybe perhaps, yeah. Improve anti air as well. Oh god. I still can't believe I'm still training you guys. Go do that real quick. Big guns, safety first. Battlefield air support, or support aircraft. The idea of combined arms is an old one dating back to Earth ponies tying down formations to be picked up by Pegasus unicorns. In modern times, it remains underutilized due to the difficulty of coordinating armored columns, infantry, and aircraft. With improved communication systems, it became plausible to introduce a specialized aircraft to work in unison with the ground forces. Imperial Bomber Fleet. No modern air force complete without dedicated bomber squadrons escorted by fighters, while being armed themselves to ward off enemy airplanes. They can accomplish what points on the ground would struggle to do. Thus, it's imperative that the construction of new aircrafts uh, begin post haste, and new plans are drawn up for continuous improvements to their designs. Why are they struggling so much now? I don't understand. How do they lose all these divisions? I guess we just encircled them all, didn't we? Well, I apologize for being ragey earlier, thinking like, we can hold the line. Because I really didn't think we could hold the line at all. Like, I was thinking, we're dead. We're done. This is over. GG, man. We could still use some more arty, though. We could probably almost always use more arty. The last Pegasus got so lucky with us, though. This mod moves so fast. Huh? The devs done just done a great job with this mod. Siege of Rax. Oh boy. The polar bears getting there too. What the heck, guys? More. Well. the best you can. I doubt you'll find anything here, but it's always going to be protected. I'm going to say no for now. You never know. Oh, are you kidding me? 
You sons of rocks. Calibrated destruction. Each resource, each asset united enemies, one that cannot be frustrating us in our endeavors. It's not enough to simply break an army on the field anymore. The production and morale must be broken on the home front. It necessitates the most advanced bomber aircraft model, one that can travel long di longest distances, carry enormous payloads, and still be able to fend for itself. I hope they don't attack us immediately next. Why is Lost Pegasus still more? Oh, it's because they're in a faction. Rockefeller. Supremacist. Colombia Party of Appaloosa. I've got to play this group so badly. Nice. Nice. Also, I do want to go to at least limit, limit exports, at the very least. Hey! Another one destroyed. Manti Creek, huh? Hovenham. Semi synthetic. Of industry, nice. Guess we are losing work least ability, but whatever. Victor's Wellington, nice. Um, prisoners of war. Rebuild the Admiralty. The question is the land with perhaps along this unbroken length of coastline, the recent bouts of instability, warfare, and defections have left those shores vulnerable and undefended. Those unlikely that a foreign invasion from distant lands would arrive, having rebuilt naval power to project their strength and ward off any delusional would be conquerors. The Empress's domain is solely hers. Well, Vesopolis? Oh, that sucks. Keep building. Build, build, build. When we're done, build more. Build way more. We need more resources and whatnot. So how far are they capitulating? 1.75 million. That's not bad. Let me get the Dithrisium. Be great. That'd be real great. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is, why are we doing so well? I don't understand. I was complaining so much earlier because the chrys chrysalises—they're they're, not—they're not that weak. They really aren't that weak. So before we go on, limit exports. Good right now, yeah. Muzzle brakes. Nice. Yes, please. Tons of army XP right now. Love it. Suppress people. I love suppression. Prisoners of war, though. The war has been cruel and brutal. Many have been surrendered rather than in the face of oblivion. Tending after prisoners is not cheap nor productive, however. It must be decided what to do with these forlorn ponies before they perish from squalid living condition. Or even worse, stage rebellion. Idleness breeds contempt. Nice. Oh, oh crap. That's my bad. Well, we got him. And I ain't going to save anybody with anything. Oh, that wasn't Lost Pegasus. That was. That was guys. Okay, whatever. Well, bad word. I did not think we'd actually be able to do that. Oh, they canceled the non-aggression back now, huh? I see how it is. I see how what you're doing over there. Tactical bombers, quick carry fire to put on here. Eh, give them a couple more trucks if you really want some more trucks, that's fine. We need more support equipment too. Um, in the meantime, supplies gonna be god awful down here, we can already tell. Well, at least we want to take out the traders ourselves. They already did that themselves. Australia. That's fine, yeah. Oh! Wait, what happened? Wait. Do they... They're not... We're not allied anymore. 
Can we offer peace or something? Oh boy, it's not good, not good, not good. Well, you guys might end up dying this way. So, crap. And do you think that her loyal subjects would have infiltrated the navy in so many places? Nightmare Moon was smiling as you saw the five ponies about to her, impressed that each of them had in this sedate uh, equestrian navy managed to rise as high as they did. With the influx of new knowledge brought on by the rise of the Lunar Empire and the total reformation of the navy, it had taken time to integrate them, yet now they said before ready to serve. Bloodwater, an audacious figure whom she suspected might as well have been a pirate considering his gumption and ability to cut corners, burning straits. Originally, mechanic who's followed in their writings about countering enemy aircraft. Polar, not a Severnian exo of all things, yet promising and fantastically low to all the same. Jungle Mango, definitely her top pick for commanding her carriers, judging from what she had read on them. Fickle, Flicker Fade, had already presented her with a draft of how to target the merchant fleet that dozen potential future enemies. These were the new generation of naval officers and around ponies who were elevated to the position by her word and been pivotal in shaping the new glorious navy of the Lunar Empire. There were many more, but she'd watch and resolve to remember the, this moment. Arise, my admirals. And we're doing prisoners of war to dictate which way we go with that. The Imperial Coast Guard subsidizes shipyards. Yes, please. The rebuilding efforts are a wall too, but the, what the final the naval industry needs is a swift and decisive funding from the state apparatus. By investing in both private and national coastal enterprises, they will be indebted towards us. Our primary goal is the expansion and improvement of existing dockyards, harbors, and piers in preparation for the next stage of naval building. But I think I'm going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know, what did you think when the changing games went to war with us? Do you think we would, would have done well or we would have done poorly? Because I even beat my own expectations. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Or maybe they just got really weak overall. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.